Hi, my name is Dan McGuire, and my talk today is titled Illustrative Mathematics Plus GeoGebra Plus Your LMS Equals Great Teaching and Learning. That's a math equation. And I want to tell you about this because it's a curriculum that works for both remote learning and face-to-face -face learning. So GeoGebra has taken the illustrative mathematics middle school curriculum that was designed to be delivered in a face-to-face -face classroom and made it entirely digitally accessible with their openly licensed apps. So teachers can see in real time what students are working on in their lessons when they're in their screen sharing classrooms like Moodle or Meets. And then we've taken those apps and added them to an openly licensed learning management system and then made the course files available so that they can be uploaded into the major LMSs used in K-12. Now, um, mathematics is not a spectator sport. Students learn by doing math, by solving problems in real world contexts and constructing arguments using precise language. And illustrative mathematics is a problem-based core curriculum for 21st century learners that's designed to address all of the content and practice standards. And it fosters um, problem solving, reasoning, communication, and thinking critically in the classroom and beyond. And importantly here, the illustrative mathematics guides for teachers stress the necessity for students to work in groups to solve problems using math tools and to construct arguments collaboratively. So using the GeoGebra apps within an LMS significantly increases the options available for teachers and students to do that. Now, here's some more reasons why we think using those apps within an LMS makes good sense. First, the LMS course makes it easier to access the GeoGebra apps. Now, GeoGebra is brilliant at rendering digital math problems. They're not so good yet at organizing all of their apps in a manner that makes it easy for teachers to use in the classroom. The, and then the LMS course makes it easier to add other materials for instruction, uh, OER materials uh, or not. And then thirdly, the LMS is available in many languages. Um, and then an LMS makes it easy for students to keep track of their progress in the course. And we really need to do whatever we can to help students stay organized when they're navigating in this new mode of learning. Again, another reason why we want to do it is that the LMS provides more ways for teachers to communicate with students and for students to communicate with each other. They're able to create stories illustrating the math problems using text, audio, video, or drawings, any of the media tool they can use. Then there are multiple types of assessments available in the LMS. And of course, both the LMS and GeoGebra uh, can be used with mobile devices, which certainly increases their utility for many students. And then lastly, but maybe um, more importantly, is that the LMS increases the options for accessibility. Just one example of that would be students can be grouped and then presented with alternative lessons that have more accessible features. So let's consider, think a minute for about what a, what's one of the big problems teachers face when they transition to online learning. When they first go online, teachers are trying to figure out the best way to replicate in an online environment that walking around the classroom, giving quick formative feedback and asking questions like they do in a face-to-face -face classroom. Teachers miss the spontaneous connections of the classroom. And students are missing the ability to talk to their classmates in the hallways, in the classroom, before, after, or during class. So 
The GeoGebra Classroom app allows teachers to virtually look over the shoulder of their students as they're working in uh, illustrative mathematics problems in their video conferencing classrooms. Then the LMS adds the asynchronous communication capabilities between students and teachers and students um, themselves. And of course, and as I said, multiple ways to assess the student learning. Now, these three elements, student self-efficacy, a sense of belonging, and a perceived value of curriculum, they're necessary for any course, but they're especially important for middle school students in an online environment. And when you give students opportunities to express themselves and ample opportunities to talk to each other about their work and about their social life, you're nurturing each of those three points. Now, of course, a, a, strong, a strong teacher presence online is crucial to make these elements come alive in the curriculum. Now, we think this approach is much better than a website that students just click around on and then go back and look at each other in little boxes on the screen. This gives them a place to connect with their classmates for deeper learning and better social emotional learning. Of course, as you know, teaching and learning is all about sharing. So the GeoGebra apps used within the LMS course make it easier to share. So if you'd like to log into a course using the GeoGebra apps in an LMS, I'm gonna put a, a link, uh, this link you see up here, I'll put it in the chat and you can go there. There's usernames and passwords to get on our one of our sample courses. And now you can also go to MoodleNet and you don't need a, a, an account to browse the courses there or to download them. And of course, if you contact me, I'll send you the files or give you access to any of the other courses you want. So that's it. Thank you for collaborating in our important work. Um, and maybe we have time for still a few questions. We do have time for a few questions. Thank you, Dan. Uh, the floor is open. Who has a question? So um, this is Mary McCoy Thompson. I may have a basic question, but you're talking about the importance of an LMS and you made your case very well. So I'm a little bit confused. Are you advocating for Moodle as the LMS in which to use Geogra? You're, so can you explain that a little bit more? Sure. Um, not necessarily ad advocating for Moodle, although I kind of like it because it's open source, but we've designed these courses specifically so that they can be downloaded in course files that will work in, and we've tested them so far in Canvas, Schoology, D2L. Um, I haven't tested them in Blackboard yet because not many people in the K-12 uh, US market use that, but I have tested them in all three of those others and they work fine. So you can use the course files in whichever LMS you have. I do recommend, um, you know, already having an LMS installed before you try to do this. Got it. So you're saying use your current LMS system and use these courses that are designed for the LMS. Yep, that's it. Thank you. We have time for one last question. Hi, this is Manisha. Is this K-12 content um, part of Alberta curriculum? Part of which kind? Alberta. Canada, Alberta school curriculum? Um, no, a Alberta has not yet, I don't think, adopted it. Now, but the thing about math is it's kind of universal. Uh, you can simply, and one of the things about the illustrative mathematics curriculum, it has great um, notations for standards. And you can just do a search in the course for the content and then match that module with the my, with the content area that you're teaching in. And so because it's in a modular course, you can you can take pieces out and put them in to match whatever scope and sequence you think is appropriate. And of course, math teachers always like to make that up on their own. <laughs>